We talked about Muriel Bowser. She's the mayor of Washington, D.C. She took a whole bunch of people to the Masters Golf Tournament on the dime of the District of Columbia because it was for business. Now she's taking over a dozen people to Vegas, baby, because that's good for business in D.C. too. And she said, you really shouldn't be negative about it because in full transparency, I'm telling you in advance, really. I don't know if you remember, Will, but we were talking about Washington, D.C. Mayor uh, Mariel Bowser when she went to the Masters Golf Tournament because that was to promote business. Turns out that um, she was there and uh, she did finally admit that per person uh, she spent something like uh, $6,000 per person to go to Augusta, to go to the Masters Golf Tournament where they were developing business, as if the pros are gonna talk to her or the, or the people that are watching who are golf maniacs like me are gonna talk to the mayor of Washington, D.C. instead of watching the golf tournament. Well, she's doing it again. Now she's taking the city council the Vegas baby to talk more <laughs> investments as if it wasn't bad enough. Listen to this. The mayor's going, the chairman of the council is going, the at-large council person, ward two, ward three are going, the deputy mayor is going, the senior advisor is going, the chief of staff is going, the director of buildings is going, director of business development is going, director of real estate is going, deputy director of business is going, the senior advisor officer is going, the deputy chief of staff is going, and the chief of staff of the council. They're, everybody's going to Vegas. Wow. So how much is that going to cost the taxpayer? They, they haven't said, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people, right? And Washington, D.C. is broke, and they're so all going to Vegas. So we're talking, you, okay, so we're talking about 13 people. Let's just say 13 people times, what, 6,000, right? 6,000, sure. Yeah, roughly, you know, I guess we could say that's $78,000. That's just for them to probably get there, $78,000. So we're talking about Vegas. So they're going to need a per diem, right? So they're going to need hotel rooms and everything else because the flight from D.C. to Vegas is not going to be cheap. You're probably talking at least with $3,000 per person round trip already, if not more. So they're probably looking at probably a hundred and fifty to two hundred two hundred thousand dollars for this trip for them to so for them to raise money. This is my understanding for them to raise money. How come they can't raise the money right there in DC? Well, of course they can. If people were interested, they would go to DC and <laughs> talk to her or her other dozen executives. She said, We're being transparent. So I don't know what questions you have because we disclosed that we're going to Vegas. That's unbelievable. Uh, we don't have all the invoices yet. We're not sure how much it's all going to cost, but we're going to promote Washington, D.C. Unbelievable. By the way, she keeps getting elected. The city yeah. is broke. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't know, Barry. The people that keep electing her, voting for her, maybe they don't know that she's doing this. <laughs> it's all over the news. I mean, I, I see it every day. Uh, I don't know. Maybe well, as, as people say, they don't know how to use computers. It, that's true. That's true. You know, I don't know. How to, I've never even heard of the word computer until recently, <laughs> until it went into the news. And I'm like, what is this thing called computer? You know, I'm like, what? I had no idea. What is, what well, is this? Actually, just as an aside, that's what Governor Hochul said in, in New York. That yeah, uh, yeah, New York, exactly. They, they, they don't know what computers are. <laughs> Yeah, you, you ever see the movie Space Odyssey? Yeah, it's it's like the monkeys jumping around, not understanding. Barry, this things. thing came down and it had a screen on it and a keyboard, and I was just going around it. <laughs> I had no idea what this uh, thing was. What is this? <laughs> it's, it's the new but they, they all have this. Yeah, they have this mentality. You know, and it's not just about black people that have this mentality. They have this mentality for all Americans that don't side with them. 
Something right. is wrong with you if you don't agree with their stupidity. They're spending all of this money, the taxpayer dollars. The city's already broke, right? Because they've already they squandered so much money already. And now they're going to Vegas and they're going to give all that money to Vegas. And they're actually wanting the big donors to show up to give them more money. That's what it ultimately comes down to. Let's go where the big donors will show up and give us money. Because they apparently they can't do it in D.C. because D.C. is in such a bad. I guess it's really difficult to talk about all of the positive things that they want to do in D.C. When everyone had to drive to get to the event in D.C. And I'm like, what is she talking about? How come she hadn't fixed this? How come she hadn't fixed that? <laughs> but in Vegas, well, they don't have to see it. We'll follow up. I'm sure she's going to come back with lots of deals, just like people asked it. How did it go in Augusta when you went to the Masters? Oh, it went fine. That's all she said.